multiplication concepts part 2 multiply by 5 now let us take some examples here we have seven boxes each containing five balls so how many balls are there in total so children this question is similar to the one where we have seven groups each having five balls each So total number of balls will be 7 multiplied by 5 which comes out to be 35. Let us take another example. We have 4 groups of flowers each containing 5 flowers each. So how many flowers are there in total? Again, we would find the answer by multiplying the total number of groups with quantity in each group. So the answer comes out to be 4 multiplied by 5 is equal to 20. So there are a total of 20 flowers. Now let us see this times table of 5. Here you can see a table of 5. Each row has hands. Hand is nothing but a group of 5 fingers. Now in order to find the total number of fingers, we need to multiply the number of hands, that is groups of fingers, with the number of fingers in each hand, which is 5 in this case. So, the table would be, first row has only one hand, so it will be 1 into 5 is equal to 5 fingers. Second row has two hands, so it will be 2 into 5 is equal to 10 fingers. Similarly, third group has 3 hands, so it will be 3 into 5, which is 15 fingers. And so on.